In mathematics, the wreath product of group theory is a specialized product of two groups, based on a semi-direct product. Wreath products are used in the classification of permutation groups and also provide a way of constructing interesting examples of groups. Given two groups A and H, there exist two variations of the wreath product. The unrestricted wreath product AWRH and the restricted wreath product AWRH. Given a set omega with an H action there exists a generalization of the wreath product which is denoted by AWR omega H or AWR omega H respectively. The notion generalizes to semigroups and is a central construction in the Crone-Rhodes structure or theory of finite semigroups. Definition. Let A and H be groups and omega are set with H acting on it. Let K be the direct product of copies of A omega equals A indexed by the set omega. The elements of K can be seen as arbitrary sequences of elements of A indexed by omega with component-wise multiplication. Then the action of H on omega extends in a natural way to an action of H on the group K by. Then the unrestricted wreath product AWR omega H of A by H is the semi-direct product KH. The subgroup K of AWR omega H is called the base of the wreath product. The restricted wreath product AWR omega H is constructed in the same way as the unrestricted wreath product except that one uses the direct sum as the base of the wreath product. In this case the elements of K are sequences of elements in A indexed by omega of which all but finitely many A omega are the identity element of A. In the most common case, one takes omega equals H where H acts in a natural way on itself by left multiplication. In this case, the unrestricted and restricted wreath product may be denoted by AWRH and AWRH respectively. This is called the regular wreath product. Notation and conventions. The structure of the wreath product of A by H depends on the H set omega and in case omega is infinite it also depends on whether one uses the restricted or unrestricted wreath product. However, in literature, the notation used may be deficient and one needs to pay attention on the circumstances. In literature A omega H may stand for the unrestricted wreath product AWR omega H or the restricted wreath product AWR omega H. Similarly, a H may stand for the unrestricted regular wreath product AWR H or the restricted regular wreath product AWR H. In literature, the H set omega may be omitted from the notation even if omega H. In the special case that H equals SN is the symmetric group of degree N it is common in the literature to assume that omega equals 1 N and then omit omega from the notation. That is, a SN commonly denotes A 1 N SN instead of the regular wreath product A S N S N. In the first case the base group is the product of N copies of A, in the latter it is the product of N copies of A. Properties Since the finite direct product is the same as the finite direct sum of groups, it follows that the unrestricted AWR omega H and the restricted wreath product AWR omega H agree if the H set omega is finite. In particular, this is true when omega equals H is finite. A WR omega H is always a subgroup of AWR omega H. Universal Embedding Theorem If G is an extension of A by H, then there exists a subgroup of the unrestricted wreath product AH which is isomorphic to G. This is also known as the Krasner-Kaluznina Embedding Theorem. The Crone-Rhodes Theorem involves what is basically the semigroup equivalent of this. If A, H and omega are finite, then A omega H equals A omega H canonical actions of wreath products. If the group A acts on a set lambda then there are two canonical ways to construct sets from omega and lambda on which AWR omega H can act. The imprimitive wreath product action on lambda times omega. If H, AWR omega H and lambda times omega, then the primitive wreath product action on lambda omega. An element in lambda omega is a sequence indexed by the H set omega. 
Given an element h, a w r omega h its operation on lambda omega is given by examples. The lamplighter group is the restricted wreath product Z2Z, ZMSN. The base of this wreath product is the n full direct product ZMN equals ZM times times ZM of copies of ZM where the action phi SNAUT of the symmetric group SN of degree N is given by phi equals alpha sigma S2 SN. The action of SN on 1 N is as above. Since the symmetric group S2 of degree 2 is isomorphic to Z2, the hyperoctahedral group is a special case of a generalized symmetric group. The smallest non-trivial wreath product is Z2Z2, which is the two-dimensional case of the above hyperoctahedral group. It is the symmetry group of the square, also called DIH4, the dihedral group of order 8. Let P be a prime and let N1. Let P be a solo P subgroup of the symmetric group SPN of degree PN. Then P is isomorphic to the iterated regular wreath product WN equals ZP 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 of N copies of ZP. Here W1 equals ZP and WIC equals weak 1 ZP for all K2. For instance, the solo 2 subgroup of S4 is the above Z2Z2 group. The Rubik's cube group is a subgroup of index 12 in the product of wreath products times the factors corresponding to the symmetries of the eight corners and twelve edges.